This LOS is explained benefits of securitization for economies and financial markets. So before we get into this LOS, we'll just start with a quick introduction. Securitization involves transferring ownership of assets from the original owners into a special legal entity. The special legal entity then issues securities backed by these assets and the assets cash flows are used to pay interest and repay the principal owed to the holders of the securities. These securities are referred to generically as asset-backed securities, ABS. The pool of securitized assets from which the asset-backed securities cash flows are generated is called the collateral. Assets that are used to create asset-backed securities are called securitized assets. These assets are typically loans and receivables and include, among other, residential mortgage loans, mortgages, commercial mortgages, automobile auto loans, student loans, bank loans, accounts receivable, and credit card receivables. Mortgage-backed securities, MBS, are asset-backed securities backed by a pool of mortgages, and a distinction is sometimes made between mortgage-backed securities and asset-backed securities that are backed by non-mortgage assets. Benefits of securitization for economies and financial markets. Securitization has several benefits. One, it allows investors direct access to liquid investments and payment streams that would be unattainable if all the financing were performed through banks. Two, it enables banks to increase loan originations at economic scales greater than if they used only their own in-house loan portfolios. And three, securitization contributes to lower costs of borrowing for entities raising funds, higher risk-adjusted returns to investors, and greater efficiency and profitability for the banking sector. So we'll just finish this LOS with a quick practice question. Securitization is beneficial for banks because it A, repackages bank loans into simpler structures, B, increases the funds available for banks to lend, or C, allows banks to maintain ownership of their securitized assets. That question should have been fairly easy. Securitization is beneficial for banks because it increases the funds available for banks to lend. Securitization increases the funds available for banks to lend because it allows the banks to remove loans from their balance sheet and issue bonds that are backed by those loans. Securitization repackages relatively simple debt obligations, such as bank loans, into more complex, not simpler structures. So that's why A was wrong. And securitization involves transferring of ownerships of assets from the original owner, in this case the banks, into a special legal entity. As a result, banks do not maintain ownership of the securitized assets. And that's the last slide for this LOS. Thank you.